Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Well, if you love those old run-and-shoot teams like a Houston or a Hawaii back in the day who put up big-time numbers, this game is going to be the one for you. Two of the top passing offenses in all of college football getting set to spin that magic bean all over the yard. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Romero is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. Clemens is the type of player that any coach would dream to have on their roster. And today could really be historic for him. He's on the verge of breaking a record here. He should be awfully proud of what he's been able to accomplish. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. And he's taken down right around the 34. Gain of one on the play. That'll make it 31. Gains his way to midfield. The play was very well conceived as they were able to get a decent gain in a first down. First down. From midfield. First down. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Into the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. That'll bring up second and 11. Makes it to the 48-yard line. Gain of three yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Mike 55! Mike 55! Double, 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 double! I'm coming for you, 27. I'm coming for you! 200 chains! Pass complete and taken down immediately. That pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You got to get those. Roberts is set back, ready to punt. He'll probably try to pooch this one into the corner. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Watkins, overall ability, Herbie, has got to drive you crazy if you're a defensive coach. Yeah, you look at a defensive coordinator trying to slow this guy down, it's next to impossible. He can do so many different things, and today they're going to try to put pressure on him because if you sit back, he, can, he just makes too many things happen. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on him. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. It's second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Scrambling around. All day, baby, all day. Two down, two down. Two down, two down. Two down. Check back, check back, back, six, back, six, back, six, back, Brought down at about the 33-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. And 
and down he goes. Right around the 44-yard line. First down. Man left, man left. Tackle made around the 41 yard line. All the loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. From their own 41 yard line, it's second down. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle at the 49. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Takes it and he's tackled short. That's a great stop by the All-American. This guy is such a great player, Brad. When we see this guy at the award show at the end of the year, we're going to have to give him an extra suitcase to bring home all of his awards. Miller is back awaiting the punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. He's out to the 30. And he's finally brought down at the 45-yard line. And he shows us why he's getting all the Heisman puffs. Great run there. But talking to him during the week, the thing that impressed me was his attitude about the Heisman. This guy is not concerned about individual awards and recognition. All he wants to do is go out there and play hard and give this team the best chance they can to win every time out. And they make the stop at the 43-yard line. A flag came out after the ball was thrown. Let's see what this is. This was just an unnecessary hit. He should have been disciplined for a play like that. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line. They got to the quarterback a little late there. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. He was a step too late, and he knows it. He learned not to make those kinds of mistakes. From the 12-yard line, first down. To the end zone. End zone, touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A quick two-play, 64-yard drive. And they put up seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Red has it at the five. He's out to the 30. With the return. Kickoff returns 25 yards. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's scrambling, and they got him. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. That makes it 37. Oh. 
Zips it to the tailback incomplete. Very stern effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. That brings up fourth and seven. Gibson is waiting for the snap. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. He's taken down around the 44-yard line. A loss of five on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. From the 44-yard line. Second down. He goes out of bounds at the 35-yard line. The quarterback really took a shot after the play, and I'll bet that's what this flag is for. They're giving away three yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. He laterals. Good outside run there. That's a gain of four on the play. That'll make it second and seven. They'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Here's third and eight. Ball on the 18. He flings it. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. Still first down. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. Seven, nothing. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. And he's tackled at the three yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That makes it third and goal. Touchdown. Great, tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. He makes the PAT. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's get you up to date on what's happening in Athens. This was a tight one to the very end. Ohio gets the victory, 28-27.
in other action. Let's have a look at what's going on in Morgantown. There was never any room to breathe in this game. The Mountaineers pull it off by a deuce. All right, thanks, Reese. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 25. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he tackles him hard at the 30. There's a flag down in the backfield, but I didn't see what happened. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First and 10. Ball on the 45. Aaron and out long. It's picked off. It's the junior. That's the last thing they needed to happen was an interception. They're trying to fight to get back into this game and to have that miscue, now it's really up to their defense to try to help them out. From their own 31-yard line, it's first down. Gets out to about the 44 yard line. They come out in a five wide set. They'll get him for a loss. That makes it second and ten. Tackle right away. Penalty marker down in the backfield. Might be a holding call. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense. The officials have gotten Still really serious down. about hits like this. I think it's good for the game that they're doing such a good job of protecting the quarterbacks. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27. out of bounds right around the 20. Fires across the middle. Nice play to set up first and goal. Sacked. You know, Brad, I think the offensive linemen were so concerned about those blitzers that they forgot that to account for maybe goal. the most dangerous man, and that's the defensive end. And that defensive end just lowered the boom on the quarterback. Still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. There you go. If you're going to come back in this game, it's going to start with one play. And maybe that pick is what turns things around for you. And he's 
is level at the 29. That grab ties him for the school record for catches in a season. It's been an incredible relief for a quarterback to know he's got a target this dependable. That's why they call his number so often. And he hits him hard at the 31-yard line. Gain of two on the play. First down. He's going to try and scramble. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 36-yard line. Right, 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 right. Two down, two down. Mike six. Mike six. And he's taken down at the 42. A flag came out after the ball was thrown. Let's foul, see what this is. Roughing the passer defense. So the offense will move a little Still bit closer down. with that penalty. From the 43-yard line, first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. It's on the ground. He picks it up. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Gets it out to about the 47 yard line. Called a gain of nine yards. That'll make it third and one. Four down, four down. Hey, check right, check right. And some daylight. And they push him out at the 31. That's good for a game of 16 yards. That makes it first and 10. it fly intercepted that's a great tackle at the two Brad this week these coaches told us about how they want their players to fight and really be determined here they are down by a couple scores and the defense comes up with a big interception showing that character that their coaches wanted to see first down they're deep in their own territory after positive yardage. Good run by the halfback. That'll be good enough to move the chains. He took advantage of a powerful effort by his offensive line to turn that into a pretty big run. He gets out to about the 12-yard line. And he's got his man. Tackle made at the 16. And he's just taken over as the team's record holder for catches in a season. Sure, he's had some drops along the way, but he never hangs his head. He never gets down on anyone for a bad pass or missed block. You need that kind of attitude to break records. Quick throw, and down he goes at the 36. Man, did he ever sell the run? The defense took the bait, and that hesitation was enough to give the receiver room to make the catch. Down after a nice run up 
the middle. Watkins gains about five yards on the option play. The offense calls a timeout, and that was their first timeout. It's second and five here. Ball on their own 41. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to come up with a sack. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's at midfield, catches it. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. They got to the quarterback a little late there. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. Concentration lapse right there. Down. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. Here's a quick throw. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. The quarterback really took a shot after the play, Whistle and I'll foul. bet that's what Ruffing this flag is for. Defense. Man, that was close. Still first. It down. looked like his momentum just carried him to the quarterback. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They put everyone up on the line. Runs left and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. The offense calls a timeout. Here's the 11th play of the drive. And it pays off. Touchdown. He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 59-yard drive. And they put up seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He gets hit out of bounds at the 27-yard line. There's a flag down in the backfield, but I didn't see what happened. Roughing the passer, defense. The officials are keeping Automatic a closer eye on hits to the quarterback. So you've got to be careful that it's timed right and that it's clean. If you really hit him hard, you can easily draw the personal foul. First and 10, ball on their own 42. Up the middle for a nice game. The offense calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Penalty marker down in the backfield, might be a holding call. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. This was just an unnecessary hit. He should have been disciplined for a play like that. From the 35-yard line, first down. Throws complete, and he's got room to work. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. A flag came out after the ball was thrown. Let's Russell see what foul. this is. Roughing the passer, defense. They're giving away three yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. 
Just a minute to go in the first half of play. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. The offense calls a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. Complete touchdown. Converts the extra point. Thomas has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 22-yard line. Kickoff returns 22 yards. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Fires quickly, and it's picked off to the 20, to the 10. He's in for the touchdown. And that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Red has it at the five. Across the 30. He's pushed out of bounds. The 39-yard line. Pickoff return 56 yards. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. And he's set. Second and ten. Caught with room to work. Tackle at the 23-yard line. You know, the wide receiver here does a good job of running a nice route, but I think it's the concentration of what he did at the end of the route that made the difference. He felt the coverage. He knew that he had a man on him, but he's able to keep the defender away from the football and go up and make a nice catch. Deep pass to the end zone. He caught it. Touchdown. Good game, Hobie, coach. Oh. Wow, go. an almost impossible pass to defend, and it goes for six. Yep, the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 40-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. So the score now, 28-14. Romero has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. He's tackled around the 33 yard line. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 28 14.
Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 28. Kickoff returns 27 yards. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. On the ground with the tailback. They'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line. It's second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. McQueen gains about five yards on the run. That makes it 37. And he's hit before it can go anywhere. Game seven on the play. First down. Pressured and brought down. That was a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. And they make the stop at about the 41. That's good for a three yards. That'll bring up 38. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's taken down around the 47 yard line. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. They'll bring him down at the 22. They're set to go for another round. Well, Kirk, good news. We saw him go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, but apparently he's all right. It looks like he's going to get back in the action here. He fights forward to about the 23. Kilpatrick gets about a yard on the play. That brings up second and nine. Here's an opening. Makes it out to about the 33. Nice play across the middle. And he tackles him hard at the 49-yard line. They got to the quarterback a little late there. Roughing the passer defense. The officials have gotten really serious down. about hits like this. I think it's good for the game that they're doing such a good job of protecting the quarterbacks. From the 36-yard line, first down. Mike 55, Mike 55. Hey, e, 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 e. He's going to try and scramble. He gets sacked on the play. That's a loss of five yards. That'll bring up second and 15. Take him down immediately. That's a game of seven on the play. Third down. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Hey, check right, check right. Caught and he's hit immediately. The quarterback really took a shot after the play, and I'll bet that's what this flag is for. Defense. 
Oh, man, they've got to be frustrated. Down. I'm sure they were ready to get off the field, and now they've just handed the offense a whole new set of downs. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 18. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Here's the eighth play of the series. Inside the 10, and they're in. Touchdown. And for Clemens, he's just gone over 100 yards on the day. That gave this offense their fifth first down on this drive, too. They've really been rolling with this guy leading. And he hits the PAT. A nice six-play, 61-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Red from the five. Tackle at the 32-yard line. Boy, aren't they? They're so full of energy. It's almost scary. This aggressive defense has enjoyed multiple sacks tonight. Blame the pressure or the confusion, but this offense has also given it away three times. This offense's best bet seems to be to keep the ball on the ground. And that's always been a very positive thing. It'll keep the defense honest, and they won't be able to just play the pass. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Gets it out in a hurry. It's the sophomore that's got it. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Hey, check back, check back, back six, back six. He throws. Caught. Touchdown. And they're not ready to quit just yet. He makes the PAT. A quick two-play, 69-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. I think the thing, Brad, that I'm seeing is the quarterback's taking advantage of some one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for this offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. No game. That makes it second and ten. Throws out to the back, and it's through his hands. There's a flag down in the backfield, but I didn't see what happened. Foul, roughing the passer defense. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. Here he goes. Brought down at the 45. He's tackled the 37 yard line. Yeah. 
Makes it out to about the 29. He's scrambling, and down he goes, around the 26-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Scrambling around. He's taken down at about the 25-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. And he's immediately tackled. That makes it first and ten. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Just throws this one away. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. Dumps it complete the tight end over the middle. And that one worked just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 74-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Red builds it at the three. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Tackle at about the 47-yard line. A flag came out after the ball was thrown. Let's see what this is. Man, that was close. Still first it looked like his momentum just carried him to the quarterback. From the 38-yard line, first down. Fires it out. The 10. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. Penalty marker down in the backfield. Might be a holding call. Passer, defense. He's got a chance to set a new Still mark for this school for receiving yards in a season. Over the course of an entire year, you're going to take some shots when you catch as many passes as he does. But he's always been able to bounce back for more yards. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Touchdown, and it ain't over yet. So he punches it into the end zone for the second time today. Well, this young man is having a great individual day. But some more of these guys on his team need to start doing the same if they want to get back into the game. And he converts the extra point. Romero gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kirk, you look at the way this offense has played in the third quarter. I'm telling you, to be this consistent is pretty impressive. I think that's the thing that really stands out here is how consistent they have been, especially here in this second half. And I think it, it's really a, a, a product of the offensive coordinator and the quarterback being on the same page. And this quarterback just playing with so much confidence. I think it's affecting the rest of his team. 
He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 46-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 43. They push him out at the 37. They got to the quarterback a little late there. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. Concentration laps right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. From the 22-yard line, first down. They'll give it off here, and they get nice yardage on that run. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 42-28. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Slings it, and he's tackled at the 11-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Laterals back. Knocked out of bounds at the five. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Right, right, right. Four down, four down. 95 Mike, watch 95. Ready, check, run 80. Regular, run, regular, 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 regular 80. On the pitch, look out, loose ball. And they fall on the loose ball. And he's in there. Touchdown. push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven play, 68 yard drive and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Fielded at the four. And down he goes at the 27. We really thought we were going to see a different offense out there. I thought we'd see more points. I thought we'd see better execution. And right now they're losing this game because the offense just didn't show up. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. Makes the catch, and look out. They'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. He's out of bounds at the 36. Has some daylight. Gets out to around the 45. Gain of nine yards. First down. 
Quick throw, and they make the stop right around the 48-yard line. The quarterback really took a shot after the play, and I'll bet that's what this flag is for. This was just an unnecessary hit. He should have been disciplined for a play like that. First and 10, ball on the 33-yard line. That quickly to the tailback, and he's taken down right around the 24-yard line. There's a flag down in the backfield, Pushes but I foul. didn't see what happened. Roughing the passer defense. And the defense gives up some free down. yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. He gets out to about the 12 yard line. No game. That makes it second and 10. Tackle made at about the three yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That'll make it third and one. Quick throw, caught, touchdown. <laughs> and for Watkins, that's his third touchdown pass of the game. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. I'm kind of surprised. These guys are still losing after the type of game that this quarterback's having. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a six-play, 57-yard drive, and the result, seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 23-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Got the corner. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He tackles him for a loss, so it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Roberts is the punter. And he's tackled at the 38. Nowhere to go there. Great job of getting downfield and making the tackle by the coverage team. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Makes it out to about the 46. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Call it a gain of 11 yards. First down. He 
He's on the run. Brought down at the 30-yard line. Gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. Let's it go. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. Just under three to go in regulation. And he tackles him hard at the 12-yard line. Gain of 18 yards. First down. the end zone touchdown that's his fourth touchdown pass of the game well he's shown such great poise back there in the pocket that's the main reason he's been able to find the end zone so many times He makes the PAT. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's check in in Toledo. And for Western Michigan, they remain red hot. The Broncos get the victory, 30 to 27. Thanks, Reese. We've got a really tight game right here. Romero looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Our time. It's our time. Mike 55. Mike 55. Catches it. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. the middle for a nice game. Call it a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. calls a timeout. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Just under two to go in the game. He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. The defense calls a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. The defense calls a timeout, and that was their third and final timeout. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. He's scrambling. Tackle at the 35. McCormick picks up a yard on the scramble. Fourth down. Kicks up. No good. He hooked it left. Every time you have a chance to finish a drive with points, you've got to capitalize. That time, they couldn't come through. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. 
Rose intercepts. No, he dropped it. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. We have less than a minute to go. And he just gets rid of it. This might be their last chance. Fourth down. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. He takes a knee. 